An ass-eating experience? Oh my god! Okay, prank calls are not funny. You, can't, you cannot be calling this hotel and doing that. All right, I'll be right out there. I'll kick his ass. Oh, Jesus. What are you fucking insane? Are you crank calling me right now? actually transfer you over to reservations. It's going to sound like I'm hanging up. Welcome to episode 92 of Madhouse Militia Presents. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com and his mumble, Dragomir for the Corn Down at Corndown.com and FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Ryan T, Dharma Wheelies, Travis B, Goldrust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Fart666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find our website at moralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our YouTube at Madhouse Militia. You can find our TikTok at Immoral Hole. If you wish to contribute to this show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. You can find our live shows on rogueserver.com or immoraljuice.com on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You have a lost cause. See me speaking. How may I help you? I am a little bit intoxicated, and I may have done a little bit of drugs. I'm going to flip a Yui right now, and... <laughs> You there? Hello? Hey, man. Hey, little else. Come see me. Speaking, how may I help you? Hello. Yes. Hi. I, sorry about that. I was I was trying to make a call and my wife was playing her crazy video game and blew my ear out. I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. She goes crazy. She's one of these gamer girls and she just don't know when to quit. Heck, she's got her on the stereo system, and when that game comes on, it is so loud. I got to go outside in the garage. It's terrible. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. How may I help you? Yeah, everything's all right. Hi. I am a little bit intoxicated, and I... Thank you for calling Loves in Rockford. This is Sue. How can I help you? 
Hello? 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 Sue? Yeah? Hi. Uh, I'm out here with my, my wife on the phone with me. Uh, she She's uh, on the way over to you. And she had something to say. I don't know what. Honey, can you just can you just tell them? Hi, I am a little bit intoxicated, and I may have done a little bit of drugs. I'm Wait, gonna what? flip a Yui right now, and. Oh my God! Influence that other people. Hello. Road Ranger on something. Hi. Listen, I was there earlier, and my wife. She told me she she spit or she got spat on. You know what happened? What? Yeah, she At said that she was spat on. Yeah. Now she's on the phone with me, and, and she has something's going on. Hi, I what? am a little bit intoxicated, and I may have done a little Honey, bit no. of drugs. I'm no. gonna flip a Yui right now. Oh and God, no. Uh, Hey, are you okay? Oh, God. oh my God. Oh what's God. going on? I don't know. I have to hang. I, I got to call her. I got to find out what's going on. I'm sorry. Have Somebody stolen it. What kind of car does she oh have? God. She had a red Civic. Honda Civic. Okay. A car just pulled in. And they're turning around. It doesn't sound like she has it anymore. No. Um, oh, go God. ahead and hang up and call. Please call me back. Oh, oh God. Okay, call I'll call her, you please. back. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. Road Ranger on South Main. <laughs> Hi. My stupid fucking husband called you earlier, and I just want to let you know that I'm fine. I'm driving right now. I'm trying to pay attention to the road. I didn't... I'm fine. Just let him. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It's completely fucking fine. Okay. Well, if you need to, I'm here at Road Ranger on South Main. You can pull over. Oh, man, I saw talk. you crash. Are you okay? You what? You I'm hit fine. like that. You hit that oh, tree God. pretty hard. The uh, tree hit me. I'm fine. Do you want to come? Okay. Where are you at? I'm on the side of the road right now. Um, where, where, I, what yeah, street are you on? A little bit. That's a lot of beer cans I mean, fell out of your The tree car. came out of fucking nowhere. Sir, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making sure you're okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. okay what where street are you, are you so on? So anyways, my where husband you, called you pants? earlier, and I just wanted to say that I'm fine. So, sir, could you please back the fuck off? Where are your pants? I, okay. I was wearing a skirt. It got ripped off during the crash. But I'm fine. Anyway, so my husband called you, so if he calls back, just let him know I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, how do you think of this phone? Road Ranger on South Main. Hi. That woman took off really, really quick and dropped her phone, and I just dialed the last number back. Yeah, this is Road Ranger on South Main. On so- oh, the, I, the hotel? No, this is Road Ranger on South Main. This is a gas station. Oh, Road, oh, oh, the gas station. Okay, okay. Yeah, she like literally like took off. Like, cause she got a lot of front end damage. She had she had the phone out the window and literally dropped it and then gunned her car. Uh, yeah. When I when I talked to you the first time, I could hear like she crashed into something. Yeah, she hit a she hit a tree. She kept trying to explain to me like that ju- that the tree jumped out in the road. And I'm like, you know, that's funny because the tree is actually on the side of the road. Where do you I know, know where she, I don't know where she on? went now. No, no. Do she, you know how? Like I said, she took off. Uh, no, you, no. Uh, I I tried to ask, but she I was more distracted by her racist tattoos. Where are you located? Where Where are you located? I'm just down on Main here. I'm just down the road. Are you? Are you right by our store? Uh, no. Not yet. 
Okay, yeah, you're tra- yeah, you keep calling the gas station. I'm not sure what's going on, but I did hear a lot of crazy stuff when you guys called the first time. Yeah, I just, uh, I yeah, she dropped her phone, and I was like, oh, I'll redial this last number. I thought maybe it was, like, her significant other or something, and, and that's obviously not the case. Hello? Hello? Hi. Did my wife call you guys back? Because I can't seem to get a hold of her after what sounded like a crash. Hello? Hello? No, uh, you guys. No, you guys keep calling. I'm sorry. You need to call the police. You keep calling a gas station. I have not seen her, and if she's intoxicated and she's done drugs, I think you need to call the police right. because it is very. She came from your place, though. I think you're liable for her actions. No, but if you know her and if and you need to report this, if you've seen her and you're seeing this, you need to report it. Well, we're we're separated at the moment. Okay, well, maybe even though you guys are separated, you need to call the police and get her help because she's either going to kill oh, no, herself. Yeah, they're, or she's they're already her. they're already they're already on route. Yeah, there was a GPS tracker that uh, I stuck on her car last week because she was doing crazy things with the kids. Like, the kids were telling me that she was taking them to the circus, leaving them with the chickens, going with the clowns. The new stepdad is this guy named Downey. Like, I don't know what's going on over there, but things are are just upside down, so I'm trying to get her help, you know? But, yeah, they're already they're already taking care of her. She's probably going to get Yeah, now. well, it doesn't matter. Even if she's got to go to jail for whatever, if that's the case, so be it. At she's least she'll be safe. That you guys sold her bath salts and, and offered her a plug of some sort. I don't know if it was a spark plug or, I don't know, it could have been sex maybe? You think it might have been sex? What are you talking about? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I have, Yeah, she was I saying don't... that she, she bought, like, bath salts from you. Basketball? Oh, yeah, it was that girl. It was that girl at the truck, you know, at the the gas station. I go there, you know. We go there all the time. We're in there all the time. You know. I don't know. I, I what's your guys' name? Oh, we don't we don't give names. We'd like to remain that you know secret because you know we're kind of a little a little mischievous like that, you know. We don't like uh-huh. to you know let people know too much about us because the thing because like you know her behavior. I mean, do you really want everyone to know that that's your wife? Like, you know, what she's up to? I mean, I don't, I mean, I just don't, well, I mean, I, I mean, I don't judge people because every, every family goes through things oh, and everybody yeah, no, goes no. through things that's in what life. I'm saying, though. I'm, well, like, no, you know, I'm just more, I'm here, I'm the only reason why I'm still, because I'm not even supposed to be doing this, but I'm on the phone with you because I, I'm understanding what's going on, and this can she can either kill herself or kill somebody while she's intoxicated. Oh, God, no, no, because no, my kids are with her right now. Well, see, yeah, then I really... But did you hear I really that? hope... Okay, but do you have... Do you have... Okay, because I, I had other issues that I was calling about, aside from the hey, fact Dad. that there was... yeah. I think mom's. I think mom's almost home. I see her car. Clean up. Clean up all the. Oh God. Oh no. What's your address? What's your address? Hi. What's your address? Hello? Hello, what's your address? Um, my balls are your address. Do you want to come home? 
You are talking to Road Ranger on South Main. Excuse me? You are talking to Road Ranger on South Main. Road Ranger, what? So you think because you're a Road Ranger, you're better than me? You're talking to a gas station. I don't know who I'm talking to. You called me. No, you guys keep calling this number and saying that somebody took off and is driving intoxicated. No, my phone just rang and I just picked it up and now you, you're you're being kind of rude. You're talking to me like I know what the hell's going on. You called me. No, I talked to this lady earlier. No, yeah, I talked to that girl. I talked to that girl. The girl that's in that background, I talked to her earlier. She called and on the phone and said she felt she was a little intoxicated and the phone hung up. That's my lovely sister. Okay, well, I just want to let you guys know that this is being tracked and 911 is on their way to make sure everyone is safe. She's safe. Why would you guys waste their time like that? It's she's because right here. There was, because the, 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 these calls are monitored and recorded, so everything was recorded and it did not sound okay. What are you talking about? I was here the whole time. Oh, totally. And she just kept making pants. fart noises. Where is on my pants? Oh, God, lady, you woke up pussy. it may be really lightheaded, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hello? 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 Who's that? Xbox! Hello? Thanks for calling Lowe's 249 in Williamsville. This is Amy. How can I help you? Amy? Hello? Yes? Um... I have a problem. Okay. You guys have a clown working for you? Nope. Well, there's a clown with one of your guys' shirts on. He came in my truck. His name is Downey. And he said that Amy sent him over here. I doubt it. He's right here. Good evening. Thank you for calling Pilot Tribal Center in Decatur. This is Jenny. How may I help you? Hey, Jenny. Hi. How big a girl are you? Hi. Do what? How big a girl are you? What does that matter? Because I'm just, I'm just wondering. I want to. I want to know. Cause like I'm trying to. I can't see you very well from out here. So like, how big a girl okay. are you? Well, I don't want to come in. I'm shy. I, I want to buy you things. I want to buy. I want to buy you things, but you have to. You have to be 230 pounds or higher before I'll buy you things. Well, that is a possibility that I am there. But is there okay, anything else right, that I so can I'll help buy you with? I'll buy you things, and I'll buy you things. What do you want me to buy you? A house. I got sweet. I got sweet things. I got wet things. I got dry things. Is there anything else you need that is involved with the pilot travel center? No, but I would listen. I'll buy you a house, but we're going to start out with a single wide trailer. You got you got to work your way up. Okay. Ten thousand okay, dollars, and I can that, have one right now. Ten thousand dollars. 
Okay, who do I make the uh-huh. check out to? It would be made out to Wilder Haven. Okay, and what is what is that? That sounds like a homeless encampment. No, it's a mobile home park. Oh, is that where you live now? Mm, no, I've been shopping around. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Um, I mean, do they give you a discount if I bring cash? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, all right, all right. Um, yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could squeeze that. Let me move some finances around and and uh, and, I'll, and I'll make that happen, Captain. Okay, thank hey, you. I'll, all right, I'm gonna come in and kiss you on the mouth here in a minute. I'll be there in a minute. Have a blessed day. Okay. Thank you for calling Love Store 687. This is Amy. Can I help you? Amy, what's up? Um, is there a man I can speak to real quick? I don't, I'm don't. i not comfortable talking to a lady about what I have to talk about. Okay. All right. Can you hold one second? Please, one second, please. Okay. I'm going to put you on hold. Oh. If you spunk 68 times in a day, you might start spunking blood. This is a good song, though. Yeah. Sex in the house. Pull up. Get on down. Pull down his pants. And he turns around. Shows all the girls what he's got. Yeah. Up down. Get on down. Daddy fat sack. Pull his pants down. Hi, right, how can I help you? Hey, but how are you doing? All right. Are you guys busy out there? Can you come back to the... I, I, I'm parked on the side right now. Uh, I'm in the big truck that says Big Trucking. It's a blue truck. What's going on? Well, um, you see, I got this lot lizard in here, and she's kind of big and fat, and I'm going to need to throw some your way, bro. I can handle all of her. So when you're on your break or when you get off work, if you want to come... You know, help me handle this shit. It'd be greatly appreciated, bro. I can't fucking do this all night. No? Why not? I, dude, I'm I'm a one-pump chump, bro, and I paid her. You know, I don't want to... Thank you for calling Love 687. This is Dorman. May I help you? Why did Hello? he hang up? Well, Why I Why did know. he hang up? I don't know. Hold on. Don't yell at me. She was talking to you like you were slow. Daddy, pull his pants down, turn around, show the girls, make a great big sound. Hi, how can I help you? Dude, why'd you hang up on me, bro? Good evening, Mr. Fuel. Okay, I'm speaking. Can I help you? Hello? Hi, Milkman's right here. He's drinking butt milk. Can you talk to him and just get him to stop, please? He bought it at your gas station. Thank you for calling Loves 367 and Leroy. This is Angie. How may I help you? Angie, you're just a person I needed to talk to. Mm, what's up? I'm right here on the side. I'm in the big blue truck. The one that says big trucking on the side? Mm-hmm. Um, you see, I needed some help. Uh, in my truck, I have in the back this little area where you can... It has like a like a kitchen and a fridge and stuff. I was wondering, I don't know, if you can help me when you're on your break or when you're off or something. I just need, I just need a lady's help. I can't do anything like that. We're not allowed. You Well, it's nothing bad. I just... We're not allowed I to, need to go. We're not allowed to go into your trucks for any reason. No, you can. It, it can be outside. It could be. I just need to. I need you to help me make some butt milk. How about I call the police? Thank you for calling Loves Three Six Seven and Leroy. This is Angie. How may I help you? 
Angie, it was a prank. You were on the radio. Yeah, I don't care. Don't do that. 98.6 amount. Can you shout us out? You want to receive? I'm calling the police. <laughs> anyone? Good evening. Thank you for calling Days in Rockford. My name is Thomas. How can I help you? Thomas. Yes. You're just a guy I wanted to speak to. You look like you've been around the block a few times and you know a couple things. I do, and I am currently busy with a guest at the front counters or something I might be able to answer for you quickly, or? Well, yeah. Um, well, you see what happened is I got this big fat bitch in the room named Crispy, and when you're off work, I was wondering maybe you could come in the room with me and you can help me put take her to Pound Town for a little bit. I don't think I can handle this big bitch, you know? No, I can't do that. If you're having issues, dial 911 and call the police, okay? It's not an issue at all. all right. I'm, in, I'm totally fine. I just wanted... Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just letting you know I can't get involved in that way in any way. If you need to, just dial 911 and call the police, okay? All right. You have a very good day. I love you, man. All right. You too. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Hello. Oh, buenos días. Hello. Uh, hola, buenas noches. No Spanish. Hello. Oh, you are a gandu? Hello. Who's on the phone with me? Hello. Hello. You kids. Thank you for calling me. Look what's around for having me. Hi, hello. Hello, There's thank you for coming. There's a man here who's trying to copy my floppy. He's trying to take my floppy disk out and make a copy, I, and that's illegal. Come on, I just want a copy of your floppy. Come on. No, you can't have a... You can't. So, I found that that works for me, too. Hello? Hey, Mont Rockford, how can I help you? Hi, uh, when I got into the room, there's this mechanism... I'm not sure if I should touch it. It's make it's making it like a ticking sound, um, and it has metal gears. What? Where it's, is it? At? It's in the what room. What room are you in? Well, I'm in the bathroom, and I can't get out from the bathroom because the mechanism has locked me into the into the room. I'm not quite sure what, what's what's going on here. I don't recall. So the number the number of the room, right? That's what you're after. But I don't have it because the, the church put me up in here. I have I have a guy with me, you know, and he's he's uh, he's got the key. He went out. He's drinking. What hotel are you staying at right now? Uh, let's see. It's the extended stay on ninety. Yeah. Okay. You called the wrong yeah. front desk there. Oh. I can't help you. I'm at the Baymont. Have a good night. Oh. But then. Clayton House Motel. What up, bro? What's good? What's up? Can you help me out real quick, bro? What's up? Uh, I got this big fat bitch in my room with me. Her name is Crispy. I can't, you know, I can't handle all of her, bro. I'm gonna need someone to come in, tag me out when I could take a break. All right, no problem, bro. You got me, bro. Yeah, I got you. What room you in? She's a big fat. She's a big fat bitch and. She, she, man, hey, man dude, I just, just can't handle all of it, you bro. Just, all you gotta do is slap the fucking, the, slap the, slap the ass, ride the wave in. No, nah, bro, she's even bigger than that. Like, like, she's so big, she checked the scale, it said to be continued, bro. The bitch is tsunami? That bitch a goddamn monsoon, bro. Damn, that's what's up. She jumped in the ocean, and that's what caused that fucking that, that hurricane in Japan. Oh, okay. All right, bro. Well, I ain't got time to play on the phone. All right, bro. Get back to work, then, homie. See ya. Yep. Alpine in. This is Amber. How may I help you? Hi. Hi. Um, nobody told me that this was real glass, like the mirror is made out of real glass. Nobody told that me that what? this would break. 
Yeah, that the mirror was made out of real glass. I'm sorry, what room are you in? I'm in 215. Okay, and what happened? Well, nobody informed me when I checked in that the, the mirror was actually made out of glass. So when I hit it, I thought it was like a like a reflective cardboard, and it broke. So we're supposed to inform you that the mirror is glass? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you? Why like? You is this Brian? Because you get hurt. Uh, but yeah, why? Okay, aren't you? Yeah, Brian. Why? Aliyah gave you the discount. What? You said you're in two fifteen, correct? Yeah. Okay, and Aliyah gave you her discount, correct? Yeah. Right. Okay, so Aliyah never informed you that the mirror in the room was glass. Yeah, that it was. Isn't all glass. mirrors glass? I don't. I don't believe so. Because like prisoner people in prison and jail, they have mirrors too, but they're not made of glass. Okay, but they're made we're of not something a else, or a jail. so you can't use it as a weapon. Right, but we're I, not a right, prisoner but, in jail. Right, but you're saying, you know, aren't all mirrors made of glass? And then, you know, no, that's not the case. Okay. Basically, so I'm, just, I'm just trying to it? say that I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna pay for this. Like, you're you're liable, not me. Okay, well, guess what? I think you're going to have to check out. Why? Just because I punched a because mirror? Because you're not going to call up here and be angry with me because you got mad and broke oh, a I'm mirror. Not angry. And then say that angry. we're liable. We're liable because we didn't tell you it was glass. We're not, we don't have to tell you anything. You know coming to a room that there's possibly glass in that room or a mirror in that room. Right, but I'm, I'm, so, just, I'm just saying somebody could get hurt. Like, cause if you don't okay, tell them it's you glass, did that to yourself, hurt. though. We are not responsible for you acting like a child. But they missed the basketball shot, the hoop ball I was watching. <laughs> they missed the shot, and I lost okay, the Okay, that's, not, my, that's so, not our problem. You, you know what? I don't know. Are you okay? Good, or are you just yeah. like pulling a prank and calling up here? Because I, I don't no, know what, no, you're, what, what, what you're trying to get at here. I feel like I'm being I'm fine. pranked. Listen, I don't, I don't what you're do that. Saying I, went to jail. I went to jail. I went disturbing. to jail, okay? Like, I learned what a sense of humor really is and what's not. This wouldn't be a non-sense of humor type of situation. Okay, you know what? I'm going to let you go, and I think you should check out. No, no. No, I don't think I should. Well, you're, you, you're definitely going to. But the reason and I I'm called call is I need a dustpan. How about pan. that? I know, no, I need a dustpan and I need a broom. Because there's glass. Lighthouse. Hey, hello. You there? Stop looking at my phone. Hello. No, I have a sore throat. I can't talk loud. Well, keep it out of your mouth. Hello. Keep what out of my mouth? What'd my you say, guys? You heard me. Hey, who the fuck you think you're talking to like that, bro? Sit your ass down. Get back to work. Stop playing on my he's phone, gonna, dude. He's gonna fuck. He's gonna fuck you. He or what? What are you gonna do? Damage. Sit and play on your phone yourself? Fool, shut up, <laughs> bro. You act like you, you fucking doing I'm something at. important, bro. You checking fools into a you hotel? Know where I'm at? I'm gonna go bounce up and yeah, down. Yeah, on you ain't gonna do boots. shit. I already saw you in your face. You a pussy, bro. I could tell. I looked in your eyes, bro. You a pussy. Okay. All right, I'm here. I'll show you all the love you And need. what? And what? And you fucking collect the minimum wage, fool. Shut up and get back to work. <laughs> Hang up like my little bitch and get back to work. Don't worry, don't worry about me, bro. Stop playing. Hey, I ain't worried about you, bro. Be that right now. Ain't nobody playing either, homie. Get back to work, like I said. Get back to fucking work. Pick up a broom. This is Byron. Oh. Is there a point to this? Well, somebody called and said that I impounded their car, so I, this is the number they left. How should I know? I don't know. I think it was a joke. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are, either. Somebody left me a message. I'm calling you back. Oh, okay. It was a okay. really funny message with your number on it, so I, I don't know what to tell you. You didn't tell me why you were concerned. I'm not concerned. This is a towing service. Somebody said we impounded their car, which we did not. Yeah, yeah. Why are you concerned? I just said I'm not concerned. Why are, are you? you concerned? Why are you concerned? I'm not concerned. Just have, just quit. Yeah, have a nice I'm concerned that you're concerned. Why are you concerned? Because it concerns you. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? 
I don't want you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. Can you just hang up? But you don't know how to have fun with people. No. I said, why are you concerned? Okay, hold on one second for me. Are you still talking? It's a machine. It's a machine. I'm not yelling at you. Yes. I'm talking to you. It's a machine. That's weird. Oh, can I help you? Doors on it. Hi. Hello? Hi. Um, hey. my I have a problem in my room. My smoke detector keeps going off. What's room number? Uh, I'm in I'm in one ten. Oh, there 110? it goes again. Who's I think here? so. I I'm I'm frying plantains in my so room model? and too 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 much. Lots of smoky smoke. Oh man. Yeah, but what's uh, motor? What's what do you mean? You don't know where you work? Are you stupid? No. No room number? Oh, okay. Yeah, What's my your room, name? My room number. My name What's is name? Doug. Huh? Doug. Doug. Oh, that's wrong number. No, my name Doug. Yeah, but this is wrong, wrong motel. Okay, what motel? A waste motel. What, which hotel are you? What? What hotel are you? West Motel, West. West Motel, yes. West Motel. Yeah, gonorrhea, West Motel, yes. So what room number do you stay here? Ten. Room number ten? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's wrong number. No, 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 no. Now... You, you, cause you're at two two zero eight four, right? Two zero eight four. Yes. Okay, fine. See, see, I stay here. That's the right one. one. What? Guess two zero eight four. At least guess on. Can you come at office, please? No, because who's going to watch my plantains? I'm frying some huh? plantains. I'm frying plantains in my room. Oh, smoke detectors are on again. Oh, yeah, that's, but that was can you come it, at office, that's because he's, Yeah, that's because we're smoking marijuana in the room. Okay, hold on, please. Okay. One second. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yes. Is this a different person? Yeah, it is. How can I help you? Okay. Oh, I was just uh, wondering how to turn the smoke detector off because we're smoking marijuana and plantains in the room. What room number are you in? A uh, ten. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Just a moment. Smoke detector say the off thai same case. I go mete room or smoke karas and bo silu chal thay jo hai. Dust number case hai to. Okay, well, we're just smoking. Um, we're just smoking. We're just smoking a lot of marijuana, and then we got hungry, so we started deep frying plantains. Okay, but um, did you check check in today? Yeah, yeah, today, yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's room number 10. We have someone that's been staying here for years in that room. I did not rent that room to anyone today. Oh, no, we sublet from them. Sorry? We've done this several different, several different times. We sublet from them. We give them a little bit of money and they let us stay. Uh, no one does that who stays here. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, did it. we do that with them. No. We're injecting marijuana, but it started to hurt, so we started smoking it instead. Okay. Don't smoke it all. I want some. Oh. <coughs> Thank you for calling Hanson in the Freeport, Illinois. How may I help you? Yes, hello. Yes, my son, 
He said he had called here earlier, and he had read his beer room. But I called, and he said, oh, no, you don't have it in the computer. And anyways, I have got a cellular telephone, so I have got a way to use the website. That's it. Ma'am, I can't I have understand you. Yes, let me put my soul on. Son, he help me with this. Dress the woman. Mom? Yeah? Let me Hello? put my boyfriend on real fast. His name is Dwight. I... Sorry, let me pull let me pull up my pants my pants real quick. I had a finger inside of me. What is my mother my mother want to talk about? What's the matter? What? I, what what did she call about? What is she what is she complained about? I like I just said, I had to pull up my, my trousers, my pants, and my pantalones. I had a finger inside of me. Like what what does she want? What does she need help with? Canfield Hotel, front desk. Hi, we have a problem in the room. What room? The big room. What? Who is this? The big room. What? The big room. Big room. The big room. Well, what big room? Big. Oh my God, lady. The what room are you in? Big room. What room under are you there, in? we're under there. Desmond, uh, there is this guy uh, outside you know, kind of creeping around the hotel. Is it okay if I kind of go and, like, uh, like hang out with him? Well, excuse me? Like, there's a guy kind of, like, creeping around the hotel. He's looking, like, all suspicious and everything. I was just wondering if I could, get, if I could go out there and, like, hang out with him and see, like, I don't know, maybe I could be friends. Who I'm in the this? hotel right now. What room I'm in the in? hotel right now. What room are you in? Oh, is, am I allowed to bring him into the room? No, sir. What room are you in? Why? Why? Oh, which room can I bring him in? No, sir. Hold on. He's what are you talking real, about? Where are you at? He's oh, he's looking real creepy right now. I think he's I think he's got I think he's hey, touching his hey, junk. Man, can I come inside? Like I gotta take a pee. Look, I gotta grab. I'm grabbing my dick. Oh, he, he looks hot, man. Yeah, I'm gonna let him into the room. Excuse me, sir. What room are you in? Yeah, he says come in the room. Okay. Come on over. Hey, hey, listen, I haven't, oh, I haven't thanks, showered man. in like three or four weeks. Can I roll around on the bed a little bit? Yeah, oh, yeah, don't shower. Just come in. Uh, oh, my God. Excuse me, sir, I'm what so room are you right in? Now. Oh, God. Hello? I'm, sir, I'm... Hi, how are you? Uh. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for calling Bay Mountain Dubuque. Kim speaking. Hey, Kim. Uh, I'm having a problem finding the warm hole in my room. The what? The warm hole. The warm hole? Yeah. That's why I booked with you guys. I read the reviews on Google. I I don't know. They said it was a specialty of the hotel, and that's why I booked with you guys, because I wanted to find out what the warm hole was all about. I don't know what a warm hole is. Like, it's all over your reviews on Google. And, like, I saw that there's a Facebook group that's actually dedicated to your guys' hotel. And it says, if you make the, the pilgrimage, you have to go and you got to do the warm hole. That's not us, no. No, no, it's 100% you. I Like I said, I double-checked because it was a long way. I, I, I came all the way from the southern tip of Florida. What hotel are you at? What, what do you mean? What hole? Is this a trick? No, no, I'm serious. Yeah, the Baymont. In Dubuque, Iowa. Yeah. And they said, like, when you get there, like, you got to experience the warm hole. 
Well, we're not on Facebook at all. I know that. I know you aren't, but there's a Facebook group that was set up dedicated to you guys. And there's over 6,000 people in the in the group. No, somebody created it. It probably wasn't you. But they said... No, definitely uh, not. You, you come for the come for they says come for the stay and experience the warm hole and that like that's all they talk about in there day after day there's just hundreds and hundreds of people a day make leaving comments they're like oh my god I had the warm hole last night at the Baymont and I'm like I, I'm like all right you know it's it's kind of you know like my motherland I'm like all right I'm gonna go check it out I've never heard of that at all. I thought maybe it might be a dish you guys serve or some type of service or like an amenity no, or something like that. I have n- I've been working here over 10 years and I've never had anyone ask me that. Yeah, one guy one guy in the comment section he said um that he was told he couldn't have kids and then and then he came and he used the warm hole and and then he got his wife impregnated 3 months later. No, that definitely wasn't here. So it's not like a like a hot towel service or something. Like they're very vague about nope. what it is. They're just say, "Hey, yeah, the warm hole, the warm hole." That like that's all they keep saying. I've never heard of that. I don't even. That is so where, weird. Where do I find it? Where do I find it in here? I know you probably don't have to work it or how it works, but I'll. Where is it? And I'll figure it out. No, I've never heard of that, sir. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let me read this other comment. I got my phone. I'm looking right now. One says, "Don't look at the wormhole too closely. You'll get pink eye." That makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. This is just like, a regular know, like, hotel. A big joke, or they're being really, really vague. But like, I'm I'm gonna need to experience the wormhole, or or I'm probably just gonna have to check out as a as a you know chalk it up to a wasted trip. Yeah. What room number are you in? Oh, I'm over in one ten. Well, we don't have a 110. What? We don't have a room 110. Oh, is that where I got to do the, hey, warm, the warm hole? Are you, are you looking for the warm hole? Yeah, who, hang on, who is this guy? Sir. Yeah, you know about the warm um, hole? Don't talk to the lady. She don't know. Don't, don't talk to her. She doesn't know yet because we don't tell her. Okay, hang on, ma'am. I'm going to put my phone down. I got to talk to this guy real quick. Don't go anywhere. So, wh- okay. What, what do you know about the warm hole? Um, basically, you got to come in the room, and I give you the pillow, and you just kind of do something, and my hole comes open. Your your hole? Um, yes, it's, it's kind of a warm hole. It's kind of warm, and you put it, and you go, oh, and it's good like that, man. All right, man. He, he, this man apparently knows about the warm. I'm going to go with him. He says he's got a room here, and I got to do something with the pillow. Uh, what room is he in? I, I what know. room number is he in? Um, just just hang up on the lady. Just just hang up on the lady, please. Come on, don't tell her nothing. She knows supposed to know. Uh, it's supposed to be nothing. He, he says I'm not supposed to tell you about the warm hole. Okay, that just makes no sense. But okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with him. Oh. oh god oh oh let me put my brother on oh god this is gross oh oh hey. um hello yes. hello yes. um there's a man right here his name is dwight and he keeps on telling me to bite the pillow to have my hole my warm hole where are you calling from i'm telling you it's gonna it's, it's gonna hurt you're gonna want to bite the pillow um I'm in the room with the people, and he's right here. He's coming, telling me to bite the pillow and putting the warm hole on him. What are you talking about, man? I what is wear, this? I, I want to wear the warm hole. What room number you are in? Um, I'm in the big room, the big fat room with your with your sister. And he wants me to bite the pillow. Come on, man. I don't want to do this anymore, Come man. On, it feels it. too big. Bite it. It's going to be good. Who want to ask bite the pillow? Cho, ask, ask the modern cho on the phone if he wants to come see. So? He says he, he wants you to come bite the pillow. He says if you come into the room, he'll make you bite the pillow too. Oh, but what room number you are in? Hey, hey, be quiet or I'll put a pillow in your mouth and make you bite it. 
What do you think about that? Oh. Hi. Hey, oh. can you tell the kid in the background to shut the fuck up? Oh. Hello. Yes, what room number you are in? 215, Marachod. 15? Number in 215. 215, Marachod, okay. Don't come over here, man. Mother chose, do not said? come over here. I'm telling you, do yeah, not come. Yeah, 15 Mother chose. You. Don't come. Carry Maki Chut. Boys decay, buddy. What the fuck is going on, dude? Gordo. Uh, hey, I'm right here in the room. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes. I'm I'm here in the room. You. Which room number? Uh, my balls are my balls got stuck between the toilet seat and the and the seat itself, the cover. What room number are you in? I'm in the big room with Fat Man. His name is Elasma. Are you in 28? Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Kiss my ass! Yeah. Kiss my ass! Yeah. Hello? Yes, what room number? Alpha here. Mother it was the one you said, it's 208, yeah, that's us. We're, we're stuck. Okay, son of a bitch. Our balls are clamped by the toilet seat. We need help. I will be there. God. You're going to come see. I need you to come right? get my balls out of his mouth. Get my balls out of his mouth. They're clamped uh. down hard. Yeah, I will be there. Where, where are you coming? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yep. Are you gonna come? Are you coming now? I hey, think he's hey, coming. Hey, get him out. Hello? You just spoke my grandpa. Who? Did you just speak to my grandpa? Yes. And you just told him you're Who are you gonna go help him come? Who are you? I don't need you to say who the fuck I is. I just need to know who you are. How can I help you? Yeah, when are you guys just you? talk to my grandpa? I didn't want to know who it was, and I'm going to talk to him right now. Who's your grandpa? My grandpa is your grandpa, Sonny. I am your father, too. I had sex with your mother. How can I help you? You goddamn you. I'm going to come fuck you right now. What do you say? You heard me. I'm going to come fuck you right now. Dad, Dad who are you talking from? to? Dad, who are you I'm calling from with? the room, man. I'm calling from inside the room, and I'm going to come fuck somebody. Which room? I'm not telling you which room, man. You're going to come and try to fuck me, too. And nobody is fucking me except me to you. Dad, my underpants fell okay? off. Okay? What is your room number? I'm not telling you my room number no more. And you better fucking come and bring a pillow. What is your room number? Just tell me. Right now. I'm not, I'm not fucking telling you nothing, man. I'm not telling you nothing. Which hotel are you staying? I'm at the hotel right here, man. And you're not going to tell hotel? me nothing, what man, because is... I'm going to fucking do what I want to do. What is your hotel name? Just tell me. And if I tell you, what are you going to do, man? Just, I am just telling, just, I am asking you, which hotel are you staying? Are you a man or a woman? 
No, just telling me which hotel are you staying. What is the hotel name? I met I met the hotel man. What is the name in the hotel? Colonial man. The colonial man. Okay, and what is the room number? Why are you wanting to know the room number? Are you going to come or are you just talking shit, man? No, I just I need just your room number. No, I'm not telling you. You're going to talk to my husband, Dwight. He's right here too, man. I don't want to talk to him no more, man. He's too much fucking shit, man. Talking to my no, husband. No, no, no. I need, I need right now your room number. Hi. Um, I'm the husband. Hi. Mm-hmm. What do you, what do you need? Uh, which room number are you staying? Why do you need to know that? No, because he says... Uh, uh, you, 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 I need just room number because I, I want to talk to you right now. Are you trying to fuck up my husband? No, I want to talk to you. What is the his, what is the problem? Oh, baby, you, what, he's what, trying what? fucking me, man. He's trying to hey, fucking me, baby. We're married. You can't fuck him, okay? No, what is the room number? Why do you need this? Are you trying to fuck no, my husband? No, we need, we need because I am in the front deck, so we need that number. Just okay, telling me right well, now. Get we'll, well, get it then. Get it. Get it. What is the room number? We're in the, we're in the Terry Maki shoot suite. What is the room number? Uh, two Terry Maki shoot. What is the room number? Three Benchod. What is the room number? Four, Marachod. <laughs> you are not staying here, you know? Yes, no, we stay here, You're, and I don't want you fucking my husband, okay? <laughs> if you are Maybe, staying here, is he going to come and just, fuck me hey, too, hey, or hey. just you? He's trying to find the number, our room number, so he can come and fuck at you. No, I didn't find out, otherwise, otherwise no, I will No, no, I don't now. want him to fuck no, me. You, no, you are lying, no. you know? He says he's going to treat you like the streets of India and he's going to poop and pee on you. <laughs> if you are in the just right person, just give me name and room number so I can come right now. <laughs> See, he's trying to fuck you. He said he'll come right now if we give him the number. <laughs> oh, he's coming? He's coming? Yeah. He's what is the room he's number? Here. Just he's... tell me. So you, know? you, can't, you can't have sex with my husband's warm hole. That's my hole. I think you wrong number. I think you are a bastard. Same thing. Yes, bastard. Be up, you bastard. <gasps> hey, if be nice, If you give me man. your room number, nice. so I can come and I will call you cops, you know? Huh. Just give me room number so I can huh. call you cops okay. right now. Got, you okay, got we're sorry, man. We're sorry. We love I'm you. Not, I'm we want to kiss you. I'm not sorry. No. Just give me your room number so I can Please, call you right man. now, Pop. No, man. No. No. You know what? Until until he figures out what room I'm, that we're in, I'm going to break things. Hey, look what you did, man. You see what you're doing to him? Yeah, just give he's me the me room all, number. He's got me all I don't care. about this. You don't love me anymore, man? You don't want to kiss me and touch me on my body? That went a little too far, I guess. Good evening. Thank you for calling you with the resort and spa. This is Rafa. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I'm calling about the spa. Um, they, they, they wouldn't let me, uh, re remove my trousers for the spa. And then they asked me to go back to my room and I want to know why. Uh, I, I would have no idea about that. Um, you would have to call when there's a manager on duty. Yeah. Yeah. Cause um, yeah, no, that's, that's, these were all women. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't know why they would do that. 
So if I would, I would probably call after eight tomorrow morning. Well, I was tr- I was trying to get a because they do waxing and stuff there, right? I, I believe so. Yeah. So I said they were like, "What are you trying to get waxed?" And I removed my trousers and I grabbed my my cheeks and I and I bent over and I said, "Wax this." And then they got mad. Okay, I yeah, I I wouldn't know. Uh, I mean, it was I at the front know. desk. We weren't we weren't in a secluded area. I just like right at they were like, "What do what are your services you requiring?" I said, "Here, wax this," and I pulled my cheeks apart and then I bent over. It right in the lobby of the spa. Yeah, right at the front, the reception yeah. desk. Yeah. Okay, why? Well, I, I'm not sure why you would do that though, right in public. Well, because they asked. I didn't know how to explain it with my words. uh, That you'd like your buttocks done? No, in between, in between the hole, the warm hole. Okay. Yeah, uh, you're going to have to call in as a manager tomorrow. Yeah, because I I have a problem. Like when I use when I use the bathroom, some of the doo doo poo poo caca gets caught in the hairs, and then it just hangs. Thanks. Thank you for calling your service. This is my only speaking. How may I help you? Hello? No! I'm calling the front desk right now, and you don't call me a motherfucker, you son of a bitch! Get out of my face! Motherfucker! Hello? No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Hi. Don't do mine. I swear to God, fuck you drink my cerveza, you drink my Hello? corona, you motherfucker! Hi. Hello, how are you? Yes? Motherfuck you! Hello? No, my you, my boyfriend's having are, are sex you with my husband house? and they broke. Hello. Yeah. yeah are you currently in in yeah. the hotel or are you are not here? My boyfriend is having sex with my husband and they're making a lot of noise. What what what's going on? Oh my god! If I have to explain it one more time, I'm gonna fucking flip. You. What's your room number? Did you hear like something? No, nah, who's that Hello? guy talking in the background? I don't like that. I don't know that fool. Hello? What's up, dude? Yeah. What's Who up? Who are you trying to reach, sir? Who are you trying to reach? Bro, like, why are you trying to hop on the phone like you're about to do something, bro? I ain't see you. Sir, how can we help you? I was talking to that lady, bro, and then you just grabbed the phone hella rude and shit. She gave it to me. Do you need help, sir? I don't need no help, especially from you, homie. I don't even know you. This was an A and B conversation. Thank you for calling your stars, Mr. Maya. Let's speak in. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I was call- I was just calling back. They're making up now. I think everything's going to be okay. I think everything will be fine. Okay. okay. Are you in the hotel? Yeah, I'm watching. What's the room number? Uh, 215. What's the room number? Two, 215. Hang on. I got to sit down. I'm trying. I got a camera. 215. Hello. This is the Waldorf for Story hi, Chicago. How yeah. can I be of assistance? Yeah. Hi. Um, we... Uh, I don't know if we should be telling you this, but we we were uh, doing some uh, genetic experiments on uh, different exotic animals inside of our room, and one of the animals has gotten loose. Are you a guest in the hotel now? Yes, currently we are here. Um, So if anybody sees the animal, do not approach. Hold on one moment. Uh, It it is mild-mannered, but... Uh, we did a few things to it. Good evening, security. Brian speaking. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, if you see a uh, an animal that's acting out of sorts that's in the hallway, that is ours. And if you could bring it back to our room so we can finish performing the experiments. Excuse me? What did you say? I'm sorry. We we actually stay at the local university, but we've been kicked out of the laboratories for a couple questionable calls. Uh, So we rented a room for a couple of days, and we brought a couple of the animals with us, 
And so we've been up here trying to perform uh, a few of the uh, experiments. You know, they're kind of outside the realm of the, the teaching criteria. Uh, one of them got away uh, and is either in the hallway somewhere or made, may have made it to the outside. Um, just wanted to make you guys aware. What type of animal are you talking about? Uh, at this point, I, it could be best described as a pissed off zebra. <laughs> have a nice night, have a nice night sir. Sybaris in Downers Grove. This is Kyle speaking. Hey, Kyle. How's it going, bud? Good. How are you? Right, we're doing all right. Listen, just want to let you know um, that we uh, – guys, hang on. Let me shut the drill off real quick. I'm on the phone with the guys at the front. Um, there we go. Um, we're, we're actually uh, – we, we rented a room on the uh, first and second floor, and we're right above one another, and we're installing a fireman's pole in our room, and we wanted to let people know there might be some noise while we remove part of the floor. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks a lot, man. All right, guys. No problem. Hey, bro. Up. Bro, can you bring... Good evening. David calling to Chicago. This is Alberto speaking. Hi, Alberto. Do you know Spanish? Uh, not very much. Oh, well, it's all good. Me and my husband, Dwight, we needed you to bring some butter to the room. I'm sorry, our kitchens are currently closed for the night. You get, you can't just go in the fridge and go grab like a little, like a handful of those little butter packets you guys put out? I cannot, know. They lock up the uh, fridges. Fuck, man. Ugh, shit, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, it's because we were going to put butter up uh, Dwight's butt, and then he was going to fart out butt milk. Oh, let's fucking go. Damn, you know what I mean? What? Fart it back let out. Me, uh... oh, yeah. Bro, as long as you give it back, though. <clears throat> Alright, cool. You'll way. bring us the butter, bro? I'm on my way. Hell yeah, come through, baby. Yeah, let's go. Good evening. Thank you for calling Rosewood Sandhill. This is Mo. How can I help you? Mo? Yes. How can I assist? Can you help me and my husband, Dwight? I'm so sorry. Uh, you're breaking up. What was the question? Baby, I talk to him, please. Hi, um, is there any way you or uh, another associate might be able to come up to the room? Um, yes, uh, what seems to be the issue? Well, my husband can only achieve an erection if uh, someone else is watching us perform sex. And so it's our anniversary, so we're trying to do a little something special. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I can help you there, I'm sorry. I mean, not participating or anything, but they, they got that cuck chair that faces the uh, bed. And we're just wondering if if somebody could come sit come sit their fat ass in that chair and watch us. Uh, sorry, no, I can't. I uh, can't have can't help you there, sir. Come on, please. It's our anniversary. Uh, I'm gonna hang up the phone. Don't do it. It's kind of an, an. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can't help you. Bye bye. Don't. don't. Human trafficking, yeah, one person at a time. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. So this guy right here, Dwight, he's trying to finger bang me. Well, let him. What are you asking me for? Not your mother. Uh, I'm not asking your permission. I'm just. How pilot? How can I help you? All right. All right Have you all ever right. seen a video of a cat digging? Excuse you. You heard me.
No, you heard me. Don't call my store or talking like that. Or what? What are you going to do? It's your job to answer the phone. The hell? Have a good Have a good night. Girl, you better not hang up. I'm going to come out there. Uh, How can I help you? She sounds single as fuck. Talk to my husband, Dwight. He'll set you straight. Hey, listen, don't don't be calling here no more trying to talk to my husband, playing all cute and all that. Listen, I'm the only one that sucks his dick. No, get get out of here. Stop calling my store. Goodbye. Quit trying to put your mouth on my... If it's just a lot of ringing phones, I don't want to keep... Thank you for calling, Flanjay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Me and my husband I are on the phone. I am a little bit intoxicated, and I may have done a little bit of drugs. I'm going to flip a Yui right now, and... <laughs> Calling Greater Missouri Casino. This is Maria. How may I assist you? Yeah, we're in the elevator and we're stuck. Oh, you're in the elevator? Okay, give me a few seconds here yeah. to connect you to security. Oh, no. And do you, it's, no, no. Did you press the God. button? We pushed the button and the, and the button and it didn't, yeah. didn't go up or down. It shook side to side. And then it, it went uh, bam zoom. Sure. We went up and down and up and down. It got stuck for a bit there, and we're kind of stuck. I think now. I think we're sandwiched between like a, a room and a wall. Because it okay. went in, in, in other directions. It's not supposed to go side to side, okay, is it? Because it went no. side to side. Well, we've been going okay. backwards and okay. forwards. What year is it? It's gonna go. In here, it's 2022. Did we go back in time? <laughs> Are you Hello? on? Uh, let me get you some oh security. God. Hello? Yeah, it's 2022. Hello? Okay. We're going side to side. Are you on the hotel or where? Are yeah, you? the hotel, the lobby, the hotel, the elevator. We went up and we went down and it went side to side. It won't move. No, it won't I can't hold it anymore. I'm going to put you on a brief hold as I get closer. Ah! 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 Everybody, uh, Milkman, you, you take us out because I need that on the end of the show from now on. I, I started doing that for the edited show, so Milkman takes us out on there too. And that's the way it should be. Awesome. All right. Here you go, another build installment of Madhouse Militia. That's right, we do this each week right here on Fridays, right in your earballs. We're dropping a dime. We just ask that you give us the time. And you bring a friend, or better yet, bring an enemy, because they're going to be welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia, where all the kids play nice and have a good time laughing with the other people on the other end, because... Laughter helps us to overcome fear and pain, and we are solving the world's problems one lap at a time. Thank you so much, Hermanito, for all your inspiration up there in heaven with the golden earphones, and thank my whole family right here around me and out there listening in La La Land. Thank you so much for joining us, and don't forget to come back next week and maybe Dwight show tomorrow, and if not, we will see you here next Friday, 10 p.m. God bless you all. And we couldn't do it without my fearless leader, my brother here, helping me carry this gigantic torch forward, spreading the message and the credo of the madhouse to the world, saving lives with laughter. Thank you, Axel, my brother. Thank you, Milkman. Thank you, and Dwight, wasted and everybody memory. else thank here you for the machine. You know, Pat, everyone thank that joined so us for calls, I have to thank you all for uh, joining us. Each week with this insanity and whatever we get away with, we get away with. Uh, by the see of our pants in some cases, I think. Um.